Two seconds. Go. What? I mean, the following is a non-profit. <laughs> so, even the Canadian ones? You met your ass, kid. They're all gone. Well, actually, it was just a blackout and some small fires in one city. Can you fly, Professor Go? With all due respect, I don't think... Can you end all life on this earth by punching the ground? You made me take a blood oath never to open my eyes. Would it kill you not to pull this every time? Ah, uh, damn it. Anyway, as I was saying, the French are all dead. Moving on now. Now, as you know, this is Kenji the Immortal, our French and thereby deceased agent. Before we lost contact with him, he sent this image of Nobel Prize winner Franken von Vogler. Not French, but still supposedly dead, so we're somewhat concerned. Franken von Vogler? That name was in my brown picture book. What was it he did, though? I'd better get credit for this. I said to use the ball. Well, I said to use the two. I put them together. And I brought the coffee. And if you don't add my name, I'll kill all of you. With the ball in a tube, soon we will be able to come help the world. Like farmers, and private military contractors, and others. Our wives will somehow cook faster. And we can slowly poison people by forcing them to wear it. Countless people could lose their jobs. And they'll make for fine paperweights. And that's how you got here before Daisaku. Wait a minute. That didn't make any kind of sense. I'm sorry, was someone without a legendary fist of untold destruction talking? The Silver Noah should be arriving shortly. When it's here, we'll interrogate the prisoner. Three little girls from school are we? Burn us as cool where I can be. I'm not hearing it, Chief. I'm telling you, there's a weird noise every time the metal door opens. <laughs> Big Brother! Welcome back! Hello, little brother. So was I right or was I right? You stand on top of a train and the rest does itself. Hey, I didn't get to cup of feel at all! And Genre said I can't block bullets! Yes, so here! The lack of faith wounds me, little brother. Who taught you to carry two axes and a mile of chain bamboo in your pants? Oh, those boys. At least I still have you, voices in my head. We're always here, Genre! You're all boring! Got the crap or I'll tell Robo to eat you! <clears throat> Holy crap, it's forming vowels! The highest level of Interpol. It took me 30 years to get here. Speak when spoken to. Hey, that is my title. Have you found out what our guest was carrying yet? Not really. Where did he hide that thing? The ship's crew couldn't make heads or tails of it. Huh. So what is it then? Laundry? Old skin mags? Booze? Oh uh, boy. This is... I can't smell what this is. Uh, right. We did ask the old man about it, but he's been spouting rubbish since he saw Robo. You fools! The brain isn't what you think! Spies and eyes and other things. 52! Bueno. 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 Ah! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Mr. Kalanchaku, there's been a change in plan. I want you to go with Alberto on that recovery mission. Also, on the off chance you survive, you may never speak again. So the tip was right. Probably. This could mean trouble. The world coming to an end? You're kidding me. I told you to bring Taiso. Where is he? You mean he isn't in here? I am drunk, 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 oh so drunk, singing a song. Don't know any of the words, making it up as I go along. It isn't that I doubt we'll switch places, but we should probably guard the base from our sworn enemies now. Come on, Taiso, who in their right mind would attack a nuclear power plant? Crap, 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 crap. Alright, so what if you can mount construction equi- Oh god, this pain. It's like being ripped apart by barracudas and then pooped on. Good show, Mr. Go. The back wheels are gone, but we're somehow still- You really didn't think that pink car would catch my attention. Huh. 
Yeah. Huh. Huh. Mr. Ten Miles! It's Paisel. I'm still drunk, big brother. Just get that car going, Kitsugu. I'm back, but we're kind of stuck in- Huh! Oh. <laughs> oh, hi there! That was impressive, right? Kind of makes you want to sleep with me. Um, no. <laughs> you know what, Basil? For all that we've been through, I still feel a bizarre friendship between us. Uh, really? No! My vocation is meaningless. I am here to obtain the key to Hitler's... Oh, but I've said too much. Now I'll ask it. You're not even paying attention. How are we driving with no back wheels? You can't hear that, I'm hoofing it like a flintstone. I hope Mr. Tyso's alright. Oh, he'll be fine. He's one of Interpol's Celestial Nine. And that includes... There's the Chief, Tyso, um... The others are dead. Oh god, this pain! It's like watching Michael Bay's Transformers! For now, we should focus on reaching the rendezvous point. But first, Professor Shizuma, you know what this is. It's possible. Isn't that just an ordinary Shizuma drive? No. This is a normal one. So, it's green and hooked into a briefcase. The Shizuma Drive provides renewable energy at practically no expense. What I'm holding is a prototype. No, it's more like... Evil Bean Curd Robot! Good evening! I'm Ivan the Terrible. This mission would really be suicide if you could launch that robot without destroying your base. I can't make out what you're saying! I called Robo to rip out your sternum, though! <laughs> Pom 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 blue. So they've gotten to six. Well, between this and the ghost I saw in Paris, I'm starting to sort this out. I should probably stop talking aloud, though. Whew. For the last time, that's not what we do. If we're not gonna eliminate the Jews, then why do we see all the time? It's an ironic statement. In 1945, the Justice Society of America was trapped in a Ragnarok loop. This place sure is conveniently, conveniently built. built. I, I could, could slip, slip right, right down, down here. here. Which is why we call it Hitler's Brain. What in Versailles is he going on about? So you see, the Spear of Destiny was in fact a turnstone. I've got to stop thinking so loudly. Which brings me to my late father. Then again, I'm not so sure I want to hear this. Ah, oh, screw it, I'm immortal. I'll just... Louis, Jean, and Pierre! Prince. That's great, boss, but I still don't think it's ironic. Thankfully, the people I pay don't pay you to think. Jackass. By now, Alberto's either dead or wrapping things up. In either case, all is going according to plan. That is the plan which I have no reason to think about in detail at this moment. Granted, that's an odd thing to think in and of itself. Oh, I'd better just get on with it. Ahem! And so shall rise a new age of darkness, such as the Earth hasn't seen since 1990. Who's his beard? To think it could return after all these years? But with that eye, there's no doubt. It's a technodrome. <laughs> <laughs>